Hi my fellow June bugs, welcome back. I can finally say that now and thank you so much to everyone who commented on my recent video showing your support and love. Um, thank you so much. I honestly just wanted to get it off my chest because truthfully when that comment came out it did cause me some stress because I really really did not want to come across that way and so I felt like I had to sort of just um, I clear the air a little bit. Uh, I know you guys have commented that I shouldn't let it affect me personally and I need to work on that. You know, you guys are right. Like there's going to be some people who aren't going to be happy either way. So um, I want to call you June bugs. Some of you guys are happy to be called that. If you don't identify as a June bug, that's fine. You can be part of my Hey June fam or Hey J fam. Let me know. <laughs> um, but I wanted to film this video um, for you guys because I had a spare minute I wasn't that productive so I thought hey let's just get this out of the way it's a combination of like my Black Friday haul because they finally arrived and also like a pre-loved designer handbag unboxing and then some items that I bought from Shein and ASOS so it's a lot to get through so let's get on to the video and the sun is coming in and out YouTube live right so I do apologize but yeah let's kick on um, I only have one thing from ASOS but I wanted to share it with you guys it is this blazer I think you guys saw me wear it on my Instagram story and a lot of you guys have asked for links for it so I will put a link to this one in the info bar absolutely love it as you guys are aware i was looking for like a, like a camel light blazer i have it in a coat color but this one is something really light that i can throw over during summer as well so i've got this one and i really really like the fit of it so recommend this one completely and that's from asos i also just wanted to share some of the items that i received from shein you guys really really like this jumper so this one's from Shein and it's a bit more cropped I completely love the neckline I love the colors I think it looked really really good on me when I wore it and I've been obsessed with this so I will put a link to this one and I actually think it's very very affordable one of my favorite pieces that I was sent from Shein is actually this bag right here so you guys know the shrimp bag is super duper popular right now and truthfully as much as i wanted to get that one i just didn't know how much where i would get out of it and six hundred dollars for you know a contemporary brand that i wasn't 100 percent sure i was gonna love was a little bit too much so i did um get this one from shein just to try it out and i do really like it but i'm happy that i went through shein because truthfully i just don't know if I would have gotten my wear out of it. I had it for the past few weeks and I've reached for it a handful of times, but perhaps around summer I will get more wear out of it. It's just like an open tote. This does come with like a little baggie that you can put some stuff in, but um, you know, like, I don't know, it's just not the most, uh, like it's a beautiful statement bag, but I, I don't know if I would like love it like forever you know what I mean like anyways I I'm gonna like continue to wear it I obviously if I love it enough I will buy the designer version but for the time being I'm gonna stick to a cheaper alternative so this is actually really really good quality and um, what well, I think for the price at least and um, and it looks so much like it and the next item that I got is actually this um coat now i got this because i really really like the one that my sister has man that that coat's way too expensive for me she's a student and she can afford that so i don't know what i'm doing wrong obviously i prefer to put my money towards bags but this one is a really really nice fluffy alternative obviously it's summer so i'm not going to be able to wear this right now but if you guys are living in the us or uk this is a really really nice coat to look for um and you know wear and it's in the very very trendy brown color which is super in right now so i'll put links to this one as well she in have kindly given me a 15% off discount code as well so I will put a link to that one the next item that I got is this trench the funny thing is that it came with like a belt and it's got a loop on one side um, and then it doesn't have a loop on the other side so I'm just like 
what the hell? So I, I think like, I guess that's what you pay for with Shein. They will have some issues like that. Um, but yeah, I probably, I don't, I don't hate this one. I do, it's like a stiff material, so it's a bit more like boxy in shape. Um, I do have another coat that I probably prefer, but yeah, if you are looking for a long trench coat, this is, this is cute, as long as it doesn't come with a missing belt loop. Um, I got this dress from Shein also. This one I'm not happy with. I The shape is so boxy and it's so big. I honestly yeah like it's such a shame because the material is like a really nice thick material but uh, the size of this is just all wrong i got it in i think an extra small and it's just far 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 too big so this is what it looks like yeah it's just it's cute it's very gucci-esque um but it's just yeah, it doesn't it just doesn't look good uh, there's honestly no point in trying this one on because it's just hideous on me so this one I'm gonna give to someone or just donate it because it's not wearable not wearable one of my favorites though apart from the bag is actually this coat um, very reminiscent very Chanel-esque but also very reminiscent of something that they would sell at Zara I'm pretty happy with it it is a little bit big even though this is the smallest size but I think it would be great if you're wearing something a little bit thicker underneath but I love love the colors i love this it's really well made and it's actually a really heavy jacket as well so no complaints about this one um but yeah so those are the items from shein as you can expect some of it's a bit hit and miss and so i think it's really useful when someone gets items and then you can sort of actually pick out what's really good because the cardigan I actually picked because of another person's video so those are the items that i got from shein the top items are definitely the bag the brown coat and also this sweater highly recommend those pieces oh and the the chanel-esque like blazer all right moving on the next item i wanted to share with you guys is this so um Giorgio armani was having i think 15 percent of their fragrance and i am obsessed with this perfume it is so gorgeous and amazing it did come with like a little mini one but i've got that in my bag at the moment um but it is such a nice like fruity oh it's just such a gorgeous smell i it's my new obsession right now. If you like the scent of um, YSL Opium, what is it? Opium or YSL, the glittery one, you will really, really like this. It's like sort of sweet, but not too like disgustingly sweet. Um, but yeah, I love this one. So this is the Giorgio Armani because, because it's you. Love it. My best friend actually um, introduced that one to me and I'm completely obsessed. The next item I wanted to share beauty wise is actually this like Jeffree Star um, mini velour liquid lipstick. I got this from Polly Pocket because they had like on Cyber Monday they had 20% off cosmetics. So I actually stocked up on my MAC products. But how pretty is this? I wanted to share this with you. This is the Equity bundle i think yeah, equality bundle um and it's just all rainbows um i know that they're lip liquid lips but they're safe to use on eyes so that's why i got them because it would be fun to do some eyeliner looks with it um but yeah just a bit of fun it wasn't too expensive it was ready on sale for 40 dollars, and then i got 20 percent off which was a pretty good deal okay so now we're going to move on to the good stuff because i do want to share with you guys this unboxing so this i purchased from vintage amour so you guys know that i worked with her in my previous video but this time she had this amazing amazing vintage bag that i saw on her instagram and i had to have it so i contacted her and i asked for price and purchased it within hours of her like uploading the picture um, I think it was super duper popular but I asked her to put on hold because um, I was at work when I saw it and then she was like telling me it's a good thing that she um, that I, I contacted her because so many people were interested in this bag as well. Did I order it on Wednesday or like Friday even and I think it just and it arrived like today which is a Sunday so super fast shipping. Here we go. Hey you guys. 
can you see? It is in a Gucci bag. Oh my god, I'm actually super duper. Oh, she said something else again. She's so sweet. Thank you so much, Jen. It's like a little popsicle. <laughs> I will put her link in the info bar. Oh my god, it's a popsicle stop. That's so cute. <laughs> All right, to reveal my latest, my newest vintage bag, it is the. Da -da -da -da. Oh my god, stop! It is so cute, you guys. It's um, so it's like a vintage Gucci camera bag. Oh my gosh, the strap. She told me that the strap was short. And so I was like, actually, that works out so much better for me. I love a short strap on a bag. I love it. So the one that I have now is actually short too. Um, the zipper is works so, so nice. Um, so this is my latest edition, you guys. This is a vintage Gucci bag. I'm pretty sure this is like a camera bag, I would say, because it's like one of those you know, like i feel like you'd put your lenses in here I, I don't really know but this is such a hard silhouette to find it is like so so adorable um the inside is a bit more worn as you can see there um i'm sure it would have been leather lined to begin with but it's now just like that cloth material but it does have like the um serial numbers still at the back there um but I really was on the lookout for like a Gucci, a vintage Gucci piece in the navy because as you guys know I have it in the brown and I've been looking for a navy, like a vintage Gucci navy like canvas bag to add and oh my god this is so freaking cute. Can I just put it on? I'm so sorry about my pants. They're just like, they're just my PJs. <laughs> but let's just put it on. Oh stop. Oh my gosh these... Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Oh, oh my gosh. I am killing it with these vintage finds. Honestly, you guys, I am freaking killing it. <laughs> oh, stop. So adorable. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. It's so nice. And then, if, and then on my shoulder, it's like the perfect length. So the strap is a little bit drier than what I would I expected. I think the strap might have been sort of dyed or re-dyed. I don't 100% I don't know. That's probably why it's a little bit dry, but hey-ho, you know, it's a vintage bag. It is in such good condition still. I'm so excited to wear this one. Like, how cute is this silhouette, you guys? It's like... It's so adorable. Like it could just stand up and just be on your like nightstand or whatever. And oh, it's so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Jan. Thank you so much for letting me buy this one off you. I know like obviously there's a lot of people interested. So she didn't have to like wait for me to purchase it. But I'm so happy. I will put a link to her Instagram handle in the info bar below she did give me mates rates because i've worked with her before i got this for approximately like 600 australian dollars which is such a good price but generally her prices are pretty reasonable so go and check out her instagram and yeah ah uh, so good all right the last item i wanted to share with you guys it comes in this box right here so if you are familiar with online retail shopping, you probably know that this is from Matches Fashion. I honestly love, love, love Matches Fashion. They usually have the best deals in my opinion. This item I actually missed out on the Black Friday sale. So if I purchased it at Black Friday, I would have received it ages ago, but um, it completely sold out and I was kicking myself. I found it on another website, Essence, but it was just so much more expensive. Let me just open the box and share with you guys what it is first. So it comes in this gorgeous marbled box that you can reuse. You absolutely love it. Comes in the receipt with the return tracking because they do offer free returns. It says this order was carefully placked by Elenia. I love, love, love matches fashion packaging. Honestly, so nice. To reveal. Da, 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 da. Balenciaga, babe. So, oh, such a huge box for such a little item. So, 
comes in a Balenciaga shoe box. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know what this is. So let's open it up, you guys. So it comes with a dust bag, soul protector. Okay, opening it up to reveal. Now let me just take it out because it's in a in the packaging. Oh my god, they are finally mine. They are the Balenciaga knife mules and they are in the um, brown and black houndstooth. Oh, oh, oh my god, they're so beautiful. Oh my god, they are so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that like matches what I'm wearing right now. It is... So stunning. So they are the knife mules. I got it in a size 36 and these fit me perfectly. Oh my god. I'm a size 36, 36 and a half depending on the shoe. But look at the, that hardware. Just how gorgeous is that? These are some of, some of the most like picturesque pair of shoes I have ever seen. Like honestly they are so stunning. And they have like a little sole on the tip i didn't realize that i didn't notice that so that would offer extra protection which is really nice oh, but yeah my first ever balenciaga shoes these were not cheap unfortunately um so for the pair original retail was about 1500 something which is an insane amount of money for a pair of shoes I never would have purchased them for that price like that's just out of your mind like i would rather purchase a bag without and a shadow of a doubt i would not part with that kind of money for a pair of shoes like this but on matches fashion they were 50 percent off so i actually got them for such a steal i got them for 750 australian dollars and then matches was actually paying for the um the tax or the import taxes because now in Australia we do actually have to pay in like 10% import tax or duties for anything that we are actually purchasing from overseas so in the past it used to be that you didn't have to pay for any duties under a thousand Australian dollars but now you do um, and at the moment matches is paying for that um, temporarily but yeah so that was all I paid, $7.50, free shipping, free returns. So I'm going to play around with this and see how I feel. I just worry that because I'm quite petite and it's a very, very long shoe, it might make me look like an elf. <laughs> but yes, anyways, you guys, that is my haul. Let me know what you guys think. I do have another video that I have filmed recently, which I do plan on uploading after this one. Um, so I'm excited to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed some of my purchases. This bag though, like, <laughs> do I need to say more in these shoes? Like, these are like my favorite things out of the whole, whole haul. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, for everybody who is watching, again, I just wanted to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for supporting me and for everyone who commented on my latest video. Thank you so, so much. Probably alternate between Junebugs and JFam. Hey, JFam, is that like, does that roll? Like, I don't, I don't know. But anyways, we'll just see what comes naturally. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and you want to continue watching more. Um, also hit the notification bell because unfortunately, your girl's a bit sporadic with her YouTube uploads and I just upload when I can and when the internet allows me because our internet here is pretty pathetic and it takes about 12 hours to upload a 20, 30 minute video, so not great so anyways you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a wonderful week or weekend and i'll see you guys in my next one bye bye